Hey guys, Swift here and today I want to do a very quick short video um, to show you um, things that you can do with your NAS here. Um, uh, these are some of the fun things that you can do with, if you have a DIY NAS or home server. Um, basically now what I'll show you here is how to set up your own Minecraft server. Um, I've thought about this and just thought I would just give it a quick try and it's really really quick. It, this setup it only takes about less than a minute or so but you have to have some things ready to get the thing started. So anyway, let's just jump straight in. Um, here we go. Uh, what you will need here is to log into your um, NAS here or your server, whichever, through your SSH server or if you're doing it at the local end, it's the same thing. So what you want to do here is you want to grab the multiplayer server file from the uh, Minecraft official website here. Um, it's this file here. So if you, I know, I know there are different types of servers such as the tech kit and the uh, boot kit craft or something like that. Um, but I, just for showcase purposes, uh, it's about the same thing. But the command to run it is just slightly different. But um, just gonna show you you uh, how to do it. So here you have the Microsoft. You want to copy this link, copy this link address, and what you do here is to create a folder. Um, Let's just start from start again. I'll just show you quickly. So you can create this folder typing sudo um, mk directory wherever you want to store your Minecraft server in. So we're going to just show you video because there we go video and then we're going to go into this directory. Now we are inside ready. What you want to do is you want to type wget um, and then you're gonna to have to copy and paste whatever it is for this putty silent. You just have to right click after you copy the hyperlink. You right click and you just paste here. And once you do, it will get the Minecraft server itself. Sorry. You have to make sure that you are in root access, or if not, you will have to use the sudo sudo command. So once this is done here, I'll just show you very quickly what you can do to start this server up. So these are some of the advantages of um, DIYing your own uh, NAS or your home server because you can do all this kind of crazy stuff that, um, well, your Synology or uh, QNAP NAS can do it but it's not suitable because of the lack of horsepower, the lack of RAM, the lack of CPU and even if you want to get the higher end Synology models, it's going to cost you a, sh a lot, a lot of money. So anyway, as you can see here, it's done. So now we want to type sudo nano start.sh. This is basically a start script. You can actually just run this command off your, off your um, the command line. You don't have to do this, but this will allow you to do a um, auto startup. So that if you every time you reboot your NAS itself, the Minecraft server will start at the same time on uh, boot up. So here, you already have this right here for you. You're going to copy this as well, I'll explain what this means in a while and in this you create a new um, text file here or start script and then you can just type that in. Alright, so what we have here, what this means is uh, this first one here is xmx1024m. This uh, specifies the amount of RAM allocated to the server on startup and this next one here is the maximum. I believe no it's the other way around the s stands for startup here this is the startup um, ram here so we're going to do just go it down a little a notch and here we're going to put 512 so here we will start off the server with one to one to eight megabytes of ram and a maximum we can hit it will allocate it to 512 um, this would be sufficient enough for probably like eight people or so uh, depending on the uh, connection and your internet connection as well so what you do here is to save the file and now the next thing you do is to make it ex executable so you're going to put in sudo gmod plus x start.sh now if you type in the list here you see that um, the permissions are given to the start.sh script so now what you're going to do, just run the script. Now you have to type 
like it like that and there we go you see it's setting up and you see here I have minecraft minecraft really loaded and we're done here so we have minecraft really loaded um, this will work only for for a local network so you can add in whichever and type in my swift nas so the server address is just the local now if you want it to be accessible by uh, people outside in the internet what you want to do is to actually um, port forward and you can search up tutorials on this I'll probably do one of those sometimes um, next time not so soon but um, here we have the local IP address and now we're just going to connect and you see that it will be connecting up oh, sorry oh shit there we go this guy locked in with this entry blah 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 so you can see everything works perfectly well pardon me I, I, I this is my first time actually playing minecraft not my first but um, the first time I played it, it was only like two minutes of just doing this kind of things, and I'm doing it again. So yeah, that's it. You have set up your server, so now you're gonna have to port forward to enable your to enable people to access your server from outside the internet. So just gonna type. Um, how how do you type? Oh yeah, okay. Hello, whoa, and you sit. I believe you sit here. There we go. And I believe you can up. And then we are up here. We can do, um, I believe, it's, I believe it's like that. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Now you're not gonna hear any sound from the. I'm not sure if you're gonna hear the sound here, but because I haven't had have my thing set up properly. So anyway, that's it. Um, this is Minecraft server. And just a side note, say you want to continue doing your thing, I'll just show you quickly how you can do that um, so that you can continue typing your... Because you see, if you cancel the thing, you will just um, close the file. So what you'll do here is you're going to type sudo no hop. Um, the same thing. sh, And then you're going to put the end sign at the end. Now what this will do is it will start it at the background and you'll just run there. I'll just show you quickly once this is up. So let's see. Now you can see here my so my NAS is running on a very basic um, processor this is the G620 and you can see the CPU there 21% um, yeah so that's it hope you enjoy this um, and if you have any questions do leave it in the comments or you can just message me as well and for more of such videos do subscribe give this video a thumbs up as well thank you